So <laughs> the round me. The round me. So Brianna, are you are you in the same in the same boat? Are yeah, you okay? With, are you okay with going down this sheet? Yeah. Okay. I don't I actually don't I haven't turned it in. I'm sorry? I turned it in to so. Did you turn it in? Okay. Yeah, I haven't turned mine in because I was just like I have to Were you comfortable with the stuff on the sheet? All the the bottom. Mm -hmm. So we'll work on the bottom section. Is that okay? Okay, so complete the indicated operation and provide the final answer with the correct number of significant figures and proper units. Okie dokie. So let's start out with number 22. 79.6 milliliters plus, so you know, Addition or subtraction, you're gonna you're gonna line them up vertically. Zero point zero one six eight milliliters. Okay. So this is an addition problem. So what do we know with regards to uh, significant figures about addition and subtraction? You're always going to use the least, amount the least number of decimal places to the right of the decimal. Okay? In this case, you got four and you got one. So obviously, you're going to predicate your answer uh, based on one decimal point. Okay, so uh, let's see. Eight, six, one, six point seven, nine. So your answer. 79.6168 milliliters. So what do we need to do here? This is kind of a trick question. Okay. Least amount of decimal places to the right of the decimal. Okay. Okay. So we're only going to go one place to the right of the decimal point because this number dictates that we only have one place to the, we're only using one place to the right of the decimal point. So it's 79.6 because you're only going to here. This number is one. So anything zero through four rounds down and just basically becomes a zero or non-existent. Anything five through nine rounds up. Okay, so let's say that our answer, let's say it was 0768, and it was 79.6768. Now what would our final answer be? 79.7. Right, because that number would round up because it's greater than 4. It's 5 through 9. Any questions about that? Everybody? understand the principle of rounding there and when, when and where to do it? So, on multiplication, it's the least amount of significant figures. Yes. And then, in, yes. adding or subtracting is the least amount of decimal places to be burned. That's correct. Like, if you had... I'm, to, I'm trying to keep those two apart so I know if they have on the test, I'll remember it. Okay, well, there's some... Uh, let's, let's work a problem. Uh, that's a multiplication problem. Everybody good on that one? Can I erase that? When you, wait, when you look at that problem, what are the significant figures of each one of those? The first, the top one, does, it doesn't matter? Sure, we can talk about significant I mean, figures. It, it doesn't matter at this point for what you're trying to do to come up with the right number of decimal places oh, in checking. your answer, but if you want to know just for practice, that's fine. How many significant figures is 79.6? Three. Three. Three, that's right. How many significant figures is 0 0.0768? Four, three. Three. Zeros to, zeros to the left of non-zero numbers in a decimal number that starts with zero. In other words, any zeros to the left of these non-zero numbers are not significant. If there were one out here on the end, 
to the right of them, that becomes a significant figure. Now it's four significant figures. If you have anything other than zero as your whole number to the left of the decimal, anything other than zero, like let's say this was 20.07680, guess how many significant figures 20.07680 is now? Seven. seven. That becomes seven significant figures. So the significant figure rules are tricky, they're very specific, and that the rules are what is confusing me. Well, we can work on significant figures for a while if you all like. Let's let's do a multiplication problem. Let me clear this off. Oh, wow, somebody really soaked this thing down. Yeah, these are supposed to be dry erase, but they don't dry erase very well. Yeah, you've, you've got to use the Lysol wipes to, and I'm down to just a few. Let me see if Tony has another one. Thank you. Okay. All right, let's work a multiplication problem just to make sure we understand um, the proper number of significant figures. So number 26 is 16.2 milliliters times 23.79 milliliters. Okay, so what's the first thing we do? We determine the number of significant figures in each of these values. And how many significant figures do we have in the first one? Three. How many do we have in the fourth, the second one? Four, correct. So which one of these are we going to use to determine our answer? Three. Always use the, less than amount, the least amount of significant figures. So 23.79 times 16.2. Somebody with a calculator, Andy. Three. I'm sorry, what was that again? 385. 385? Yeah, 0.398. 0.398? Okay. All right, so there's your answer. Now, let's put that in three significant figures. Always starting from the left. One, two, three. Okay, so we know that this fourth number's got to go away. So, is it going to become a zero and stay at 385, or is it going to round up and become 386? It's, it's zero through four, so it rounds down, which means this stays the same. So your final answer, in the correct number of significant figures for that problem, is 385. Can I have a question? Sure. Say if you have three, like say you have 16.2 times 23.79, Mm -hmm. And they all have the same amount of significant figures. How do you base your answer on those? Whichever is the lowest. And if they all have the same, like if this were 16.27, and this were 4, and this were 4, it's 4. Whichever one has the lowest amount. Uh, I have two subjects. If I have. was one that had like three, and they all had the same significant, I think they all had the same amount of significant figures. Then, then it's three. Whichever is lowest. If I have. 2 times, uh, let's say, uh, 1.07368. Guess what? This is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 significant figures, right? Mm -hmm. This is 1. Guess what? Yes, I do. I'm going to have to use one significant figure. So 2 times 1.07368 is 2.146 whatever. But we're going to have to make that number a one significant figure number. So your answer is still going to be 2 because you're only allowed to put one number. And let me explain a little bit about why significant figures are important. Some of you are probably sitting there thinking, well, that doesn't make any sense. That just took a fine measurement and turned it into a whole number. You know, that just blew the accuracy right out of the water. Significant figures are not for accuracy. 
They're not for fine detail of your number. The only reason that we're significant figure rules are there, they're there to provide a consistency when people are passing information along the line from one field to another, from one laboratory to another. Scientists in the scientific world, scientific community has decided this is how you figure out how many figures to use and you stick to it. That way, everybody gives an answer in the same format, the same number of significant figures, no matter where you go around the world. That's all it is. It's for consistency, not accuracy. Because it really, I mean, it doesn't make, it doesn't make your answer any more accurate. It just makes it consistent. If you were to take that same problem and give it to somebody in Japan, and they work it, they're going to know to give the number in the same format that you give it in. So that's what the significant figure rules are there for. Make sure that everybody thinks it's uh, you know for accuracy or something like that, but it's really not. It really sometimes it makes your answer less accurate. Now, if you wanted, if you were going to write this problem, let's say you're a whatever a scientist, somebody in the scientific community, and you want this number to be expressed. And enough decimal points to make it accurate? Well, when you write the problem, then you do that. So basically, you've turned this one significant figure number into one, two, three, four, five, six figs, and you forced the person working this problem to put the answer in five six figs. That's how. That's why sometimes you will see a number written as 2.00 versus just writing down two, because the person that's created, that formulated this problem for whatever reason, whatever they're working on, experiment-wise or whatever, is that they want somebody to, to have to put this answer in a more accurate, in a more fine measurement, so they force them to carry it out more decimal places by adding more sig figs. So, that's a little bit about sick things.